bioreactor is what we'd call an edge of field practice. Um, what it does is it intercepts a field tile line uh, into a trench that's filled with wood chips. Um, the wood chips there provide a carbon source, a medium for denitrifying bacteria to naturally remove that nitrogen. Typically we can see anywhere from you know, 50 plus percent removal of nitrate as it passes through a bioreactor. A saturated buffer is similar to a uh, bioreactor in that it targets a, a field size tile, somewhere you know, four to eight inch tile line. Um, and what it does instead of providing and running that water through wood chips like a bioreactor does, it uses the soil as that natural bioreactor. Tile work is probably one of the most common things done in an operation. Make sure you have good functioning tile. And as you have the opportunity while you're in there working on that, if you know about this practice, it makes it easier to incorporate it at the time you're having other work done, rather than coming back in later and trying to retrofit it. This is an important practice to the state of Iowa because it gives us another option. Um, it provides another tool and resource to help us meet those needs. Um, within field management alone, we can do the best job possible in working with the weather as it lets us. Um, we need these other practices in addition to those to help us reach those goals. Contact your local USDA service center, talk with FSA staff or Natural Resources Conservation Service staff. They have technical advice to consider how that may lay out on your operation, can tell you whether or not that, that would be something viable for your uh, operation. There's cost share available typically, um, offers differ between the programs. That's why it would be important to talk to somebody at USDA Service Center to help you identify what programs, what options, and get the technical advice you need.